When you walk into a boiler room, it's easy to go straight for the gauges and controls. But sometimes your ears can tell you more than the instruments or even your eyes. Taking just five or ten minutes to stand still and listen can uncover hidden safety issues before they turn into emergencies. This video will cover 15 sounds inside a boiler room that should raise red flags when they're heard. Welcome to Boiler Room Detective. I'm your host, Ray Wolfarth. Just a quick shout out for my latest book, Lessons Learned, Understanding Boiler Wiring Diagrams. A boiler room can be noisy. This video will cover which noises can be a warning sign for an impending system problem. A maintenance tech at a hotel called and said his copper boiler sounded like a cat in heat. When I arrived, the boiler moaned as it fired, reminding me more of a whale. We discovered the boiler was scaled and the moaning was due to the lack of flow through the boiler. Normally, the flow switch would shut off the boiler when the flow slows, but the copper fin boiler scaling was so bad it blocked the flow switch from opening, keeping the boiler on. The tech didn't realize how close they were to a catastrophic event. The boiler had to be acid cleaned and the flow switch replaced. Here are some common sounds and what they may indicate. Ticking. A ticking sound when the boiler or water heater fires could be an indication of scale formation on the water side of the boiler. Scale can lower boiler efficiency and shorten boiler life. Buzzing. It could be a failing relay coil or loose electrical connection. Banging is never normal inside a boiler room and an audible cry for help. If it's a hydronic system, it could be low system pressure, water flashing to steam due to low flow or excess system temperature, or a fast-closing valve. On steam systems, it could be water hammer from uninsulated pipes or a defective steam trap. Improper near-boiler piping. A barometric damper will sometimes bang as well. Number four is whistling or howling. It could be caused by excessive boiler draft or natural gas flow through flexible gas tubing. Number five, Rattling could be caused by a failing pump bearing assembly or a pump coupling, defective motor bearings, or improper flue gas adjustments on the boiler. Number six is hissing. It could be a steam, water, or natural gas leak, a leaking relief valve, or a pneumatic control system. An intermittent hissing when the burner is firing could indicate a small leak inside the boiler. Next is grinding or rattling. This could be a pump or fan motor with worn bearings, misalignment, or loose mountings. If ignored, the equipment could seize and shut the system down. Number eight is silence. Sometimes silence is the problem. A feed pump or boiler fan that should be running but isn't can mean controls aren't functioning properly. Number nine, clicking or rapid ticking. It could be caused by electrical relays, gas valves, or the boiler short cycling. Number 10 is bushing or roaring. This could be caused by improper burner ignition, excess air in the combustion, or a partially blocked flue. Number 11, loud thumps or booms could be caused by delayed ignition of fuel inside the combustion chamber. Delayed ignition of fuel inside the combustion chamber is dangerous. Repeated hard starts stress the boiler, crack refractory, and increase explosion risk. Number 12 is dripping or trickling usually is from water leaks at valves, traps, or piping. Number 13, constant gurgling, air trapped in hydronic loops, cavitating pumps, or boiling in low water conditions could cause this. High-pitched screeching or squealing. Look for a belt-driven fan slipping, worn bearings, or steam escaping at high velocity. And lastly, alarms or buzzers. Safety controls like low water cutoff, high pressure, or flame failure should never be ignored. Always investigate why the alarm is sounding. So how do we build this habit? Pause at the door before you start adjusting or inspecting. Take a moment to absorb the background noise. Move slowly, walk through different areas of the boiler room, noting how the sounds change. Compare it to normal. Each system has its own rhythm. If you're familiar with the space, unusual sounds will stand out. Keep a log. Write down what you hear. Over time, patterns may predict problems before they have. Final thought, the next time you're in a boiler room, close your eyes for a moment and listen. These five or ten minutes may save a life, prevent a costly shutdown, 
or stop a small problem from becoming a big one. I suggest the building maintenance person accompany the boiler service tech when doing the service call so you can ask the pro about what noises are normal and what's a warning sign. Thanks for stopping by. If you find this video helpful, please like and subscribe and share. My boiler books are available at TF Campbell, Pronto Heating Supplies, and Amazon. This is Ray Wolfarth, and I'll see you on the next case.